Hi guys, Tamino here. In this video, I am reviewing Biore UV Aqua Rich Aqua Protect Mist SPF 50 PA++++. This sunscreen is said to be a thin, water-like lightweight sunscreen that dries quickly and leaves the skin with a dewy, glossy finish. It can be used on the face and body as well as your scalp and hair included. It claims to be water resistant for 80 minutes and it can be used over makeup. I really want to see how it's going to look over the makeup I have on. It is sold for $9 up or 9 euros up depending on where you purchase it. Links to purchase it is in the description box. So make sure you check it out and shop through the links. Thank you so much as you support me. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, now will be the best time for you to do so. So as to get a notification each time I upload new product reviews, which I know you'll be interested in. So this is what the product packaging looks like. it doesn't come full the brand says that you don't have to shake but trust me i'm going to shake everything all right time for hand swatch let me just do it this way i'm going to blend this in Okay, this this feels nice at the back of my palm feels nice it's not really I don't really get a glossy finish on the back of my palm as the brand claims mainly because my body is really dry but it feels really nice there's a nice skin like glow to it very nice so next is face application I'll show you guys what it looks like applied on bare skin and on makeup let's start with bare skin first so now I want to show you guys how this looks on bare skin. I have just moisturizer on which is on the screen. So to apply this to skin, the brand recommends that one should spray this onto palms, then apply it to skin. <laughs> Do not spray it directly to face. That's what you're trying to say for safety reasons. So here's what you have to think of when you're applying this on, you know, your face. Um, because the brand recommends that this should be sprayed on the palm, don't do one, two, three, four, and you know, tell yourself that you are covered, or don't just spray once and be like, I'm covered. Okay, I have my measuring spoon here. I don't think it's ideal for you to be measuring your spray sunscreen. Just go with enough, and you'll be fine. But I just want to measure it, and I want to count how many spritz or how many pumps mix a complete quarter spoon so 13 to 14 palms makes a quarter teaspoon i already have it spewed on the table i'm just gonna do um about 12 to 14 palms on my palms but not immediately so i'm just going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm just gonna that's just 10 palms and i'll go in with one two three four just so I make it 14 pumps. Trust me, because I am going out, I am still going to do more pumps. Just to be sure that I'm entirely covered. And I'm also going to spray around my neck area. But this is what my face looks like so far after application. I feel like um, this is giving me a skin-like finish. It's not greasy very lightweight i must say i'll come forward so that you guys can get a closer view of my face i totally like how i look i'll show you guys what my face will look like in two hours i just added to this clip before i show you guys how it applies over makeup this is what my face looks like the time is 3:58 p.m so it's by eight minutes more than 3 30 and here's what i have 
I'm not sure where I'm making that, but I wanted to give you guys feedback as to what my face looks like. Now that you've seen the application on bare skin, I want to show you what it looks like over makeup. This is where it gets funny. The brand recommends that for face application, spray on palms to apply on face. And you should do the same when applying makeup. Tell me how I should spray it on my palm and tap it or apply it evenly over makeup. How exactly, Biore? How exactly are we supposed to do that? Anyway, I'm going to ignore that because if I had to spray it on my palm and put it in my makeup, it's gone. I'm just going to shake it and mist it all over my face. Here's what my face looks like after applying. If you're wondering, I still went off camera to spray more on my face. Based on first impressions, this is lightweight. Despite the fact that you can see my face glowing, it is really lightweight. It doesn't give me a matte finish. It gives you this wet, dewy, glossy finish. I feel like it's going to be one I would enjoy a lot for reapplication when it's winter. Does it contain fragrance and alcohol? It does contain fragrance, alcohol, perfume. It has the cit a citrus scent, exactly what the brand, you know, mentioned. Yeah. Oh, the alcohol scent is like in your face. Don't sniff this, guys. Do not be careful and make sure you close your eyes while you're spraying this protect one side spray what type of sunscreen is this this is a chemical sunscreen that is dark skin friendly the sunscreen filters includes octisale uvinol a plus uvinol t150 paso slx and tinosop s it contains other ingredients like squalene ethanol and so on who do i recommend this to um i feel like i don't want to like place who exactly it's for if you look at my skin and you feel like this is good for you, then go for it. I want you guys to be the judge, okay? But I do not recommend this to those who have eczema and those who are alcohol sensitive. I hope that helps. Does this sting or peel? Despite the fact that I really went heavy around my eye area, no sting at all. It doesn't peel. It pairs well with this sunscreen. I actually do have this sunscreen underneath my makeup and spraying this over it. Chef kiss. Love it. This is great over makeup. If you don't have a problem with how glowy it is, girl, get it. It would be nice for days where you look very powdery. Like when you use makeup and it's very powdery and you need to calm it down with a good sun protection, not a setting spray right now. You just use this. Your makeup is going to be calm and then you'll be protecting your skin at the same time. So I want to see how water resistant this is, mainly because the brand says it's strong. I'll be going in with this thermal water spray and I will just spray it on one side of my face. I don't think it's wise to use a mist form of water, if that makes sense. I think maybe I should have just gone to swim and show you guys what. I'm not doing that. And I'll do this. Guys, wow, <laughs> come through, Bure. <laughs> Let me do it one more time. <laughs> oh, my God, can you guys see? Let me come forward. 
Can you guys see? You know what? I want to get a paper towel to like tap the water and see if I'll get transfer. Hold on. And I'm going to tap. I'm actually tapping real hard or I'm pressing really hard. Okay. See? There's a bit of transfer around here. But that's, that's good. This is the total transfer that I have. And here's what my face looks like. I am impressed. Okay. Guys, I really don't know what to say anymore about this. I like the result I'm seeing. It's giving waterproof. This one, I'm rest assured that if I go swimming with my makeup, my makeup is going to be intact. They should come out with a matte version. I don't know how possible, but that would be great. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it useful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this video. Subscribe down below, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, let me know which other sunscreen you'd like me to try out in the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And do have a blessed day. Ooh.